these two packages just arrived. Now, this one's looking a bit worse for wear and it doesn't sound right either when I move it around. It sounds a bit clunky. I'm concerned about this one. I don't think it's been packed very well, despite me telling them to pack it really well. Um, this one looks good. So, let's open the dodgy one first. So as you can see, it's all ripped open over here. I really hope it's okay. <sighs> Nothing around the edges. Incredible. I told them to be really careful. I told them a few inches of padding. But one layer of bubble wrap. Oh, that's not good. Let's hope it's not broken. Right, lift it out, as you can see. Let's unpack it. And find out what we're dealing with here. Well, it looks intact. Okay, might be lucky here. So the guy who warned me he took the handles off because it, uh, it went overweight. And he's going to send those another package, so those haven't arrived yet. Um, but yeah. Here you go. It's a Solotron. Okay, here you go. Solotron, so it's a 7075, which is supposed to be a seven and a half digit meter. Now what I don't have at the moment is the cable that goes with it. I've got to try and source one of those or modify it. I prefer to source the cable and actually have the right cable for it. Um, but first I wanted to get the meter here and actually power it up and that sort of stuff and make sure it, it works before I go any further than that in case I waste some money on the cable because the thing doesn't work up anyway. So you've got uh, missing feet. That's not uncommon. It's quite common to have them. on the back here got rear inputs as well and uh, 100 to 264 volt AC input now I'm not quite sure if I have to change the jumper inside for that I'm not gonna find out the hard way it does have a seal on here dated 10th of the 5th 94 <laughs> 94 um, same here on the bottom side so this hasn't been opened up I don't think no, oh, maybe it's torn. Yeah, it's torn. That one is torn. So, probably has been opened up, but yeah, no, it's okay. Let's power this thing up and see if it actually works. Right, I've got it plugged into my supply here. I'm running through my very accurate 120 volts AC. Let's turn it on and turn the unit on and see what happens. Right, I've got that LH and it's flashing. What is it flashing? Ratio. I don't want ratio, it's to DC. Hmm. Local. Let's do 100 milliseconds. Repeat. I guess you have to have all the switches in all places, otherwise it gets a bit confused. So, that's just doing a nice floating voltage right now of seven digits, or well, six and a half digits. So, five, let's do that. It's doing six and a half digits there. That should be seven off digits, I suppose. Mm. Um, I suppose it depends on which one you're actually using. Let's chuck a voltage. Oh, I can't chuck a voltage into it. I can't actually. <laughs> I do know the pinout for this. I do have the manual for it, which tells you what the pinout is for this. So I could potentially inject a voltage into it, but um, it's at least doing something. Um, step back to one second integration time. Makes it a bit more usable, doesn't it? Um, AC. It says AC over here. I mean, it's okay. It seems to be functional. At least on the surface, it appears that way. We shall do nothing here. Test. What does that do? No idea. <laughs> I suppose some things I've got to learn about this. But anyway, okay, it seems to at least be kind of functional. Um, 
and obviously the handles will turn up eventually, I hope. Uh, right, controls, option as well, obviously for the f connection on the back. So okay, it seems to at least be kind of working. So I'll worry about the rest later on. I'll get a cable for it, then I'll do a video on this as well, doing checking out maybe calibration stuff and what have you. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, best of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money goes goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and, um, you know, contribute to the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. Thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained yeah if you want to support me that's great um because that certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby so i've got hundreds and hundreds of videos so if you haven't seen my previous stuff then make sure you go and look go back and look at the back catalog pages and pages of them loads of them go and check them out make sure you go and watch more stuff watch more watch more watch more